the Irish Health Service is in crisis. Services are provided not on the basis of medical need, but on the basis of ability to pay. We have large numbers of people lying on trolleys on a daily basis in all of our hospitals. And when the government tries to deal with that, they end up cancelling operations. Operations that people may have been waiting on for six, nine, 12 months. We know at community level too, there are long waiting lists for things like speech and language therapy for children. And of course, if children are denied those services, they can never make up that time in their childhood. It's at crisis point, and we need to change how we deliver health services. That's what the Social Democrats intend to do. We have a 10-year plan. We will transform the health service, reform it, and ensure that it's universally accessible and available to everybody. We'll do it in three phases. The first will be to expand our primary and community care services. That means additional staff, like public health nurses, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, and practice nurses working closely with GPs. Phase two of that will be ensuring that all of those community and primary care services are freely available to people and that we move the activity from hospitals to the community by and large. The third phase in the second term of government will be to ensure that we have a single tier, high quality health service so people feel that they don't need to buy expensive insurance. We want a health service that serves the needs of the people. We want a health service that is responsive and efficient, and it's possible to do that. Most other countries have it. There's no reason why we can't have such a service in Ireland.